Hi, this is Sean, and this is my quick little video showing what I did in my blog post. So I'm using Project Geppetto on 3D Studio Max 2012. I'm going to insert the orchestrator, the, uh, the gizmo, and then I'm going to define whether I want idle or free-flowing uh, groups of characters. So we're going to create a crowd. In this case, they're going to uh, go along this path. And you can see there's little blue and red icons that indicate the density that you have. Uh, the red are the girls, and the blue are the males. Uh, we can change the density right there on the slider by using the object modifier. Uh, we could change what side they look at. Uh, now let's hit simulate. Could have changed the number of frames. Now I've got these untextured characters, a crowd walking. And, and they are pretty random. There's a set defined uh, action uh, of emotions that they do, but it's pretty random. We'll scrub through that. Let's create an idle area as well. So those are people that are just standing around, reading books, uh, answering cell phones, using hand gestures, just staying immobilized. Um, right now in the technology preview, they don't have their cell phones or their books, so that might look a little strange when they don't have anything in their hand. You see the one gentleman over on the right there, he's got a book, but it's apparently one of those special see-through uh, books. Maybe a new technology for a tablet. But you see, they're 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 walking around. They they can be uh, they can look nice, but uh, but what I want to do is put some textures on them, and that is not the default in the technology preview. But I'm going to show you how to do it. Um, on my blog post, it it goes through all the steps. I'm going to go really fast here for the sake of uh, being being uh, quick in the video, and we're going to navigate to C, and we're going to go to Program Files, Autodesk, 3D Studio Max. Plugin config, Geppetto, and then you can pick male or female character, and there's the male. So we open him up, and here he is in all of his brilliance. Looks kind of like a zombie or, or a ghost figure. Um, what I want to do is put some textures on him. Those are actually installed in your maps folder. So let's, uh, we're going to grab those and just apply them. You can do them either as a, uh, a ma uh, material and property or drag and drop. Um, and I'm just going to do the Julia Childs method and I've already applied for both male and female. Hit simulate again and boom. Okay, bam. There we go. Now you see they're all textured. It looks a lot nicer. It looks not, um, more like a, a realistic uh, crowd scene. Uh, you may have wanted, want, went, wanted to go for the artistic style and you could do that, uh, but I wanted some textured characters here. Um, now let's let's do another thing. I've got the Venetian Hotel, which you may have remembered from uh, Autodesk University 2011. I'm going to actually create a free flow, flow path uh, through here of a crowd, and then I can put some on the stairs and all over some idle people on the stairs. So we'll put this here, real simple. Generate or simulate, excuse me. And now we have our crowd. It's, it's a nice thing to have in a space, whether you're doing a, a, uh, a campus, a shopping mall, a development, a road scene. To see animated 3D humans doing different things is actually a, a great thing in, a, in, a, in an animation. Adds a little bit more realistic to it. Now, let's add a little bit of Christmas to it. Um, I want to go and show you how to hack. And I detail this on my blog, but what I'm going to do here is a simple one. I'm going to add a hat. And you can't just drop the hat on the character. You actually have to go to its element level and then right click, click attach, and then attach the hat actually to the head. It's hardwired for those different body parts in the animation when it inserts it into your, your, your path. So you have to go these steps. And we'll save him, and then we'll go back to our scene. And now it's updated. You see the male character has the Christmas hat. So that's a quick little thing. I could have painted the texture maps as well, changed their clothes, put some funny symbols on them. I could even use one, two, three D catch and do a three D head and attach it to the character's real head, and then delete out the original. Now it's a replace, and then I would have, uh, you know, somebody else's head on the character body, which I did do with an unnamed Autodesk VP, and you can see in my blog post. Um, here you can see some nice views of just looking around, how these characters move around. In the future, you're going to see these things avoiding each other, avoiding objects, able to use objects, utilize objects like stairs or chairs. If they see a stair, they'll walk up them. If they see a chair, they'll be able to sit down in them. They'll know these different tasks. So it's quite an amazing technology. There's some of the idlers up on the path. 
So back to my blog post for the, the details. So thank you very much, everybody.